Hello guys, welcome back to my channel and today we will be recreating a smoky eye inspired by Sadia Slave. And let's jump in. So going in with my Sigma E65 brush, I'm using my ABH Brow Pomade in dark brown. And here I just like to start at the end of my eyebrow. So I start halfway and work towards the end of my eyebrow. And now going in with the shade Smoked from the TARDIS Pro palette. I'm going to use that to fill in my eyebrow. And lately I've been using this method, the eyeshadow method, to make my eyebrow look a little bit more natural and not too dark. Now I'm just going in and filling up the other half of my eyebrow using the eyeshadow. As you guys can see, the brown towards the front of my eyebrow looks a little bit more lighter than the one at the end. And at the end I use the pomade which is a little bit darker. And here I'm just going to use stroking upward motions. And that's just to create the illusion that you have some natural hairs going on in the front. And now I'm just going in with my Revlon Photo Ready Concealer in shade 002 Light Pale. And for this guys, you don't want to start too close to your eyebrow. And this is so we don't take away from what we have done on our eyebrows. You just want to clean up any smudges that are out of our eyebrow shape. Here I'm just going in with the same concealer and this is just to create a base for our, our eyeshadow. Oops, don't do that guys. You definitely want to go in with the right side of the brush. So now I'm just going in with my Wind & Wild concealer brush and I'm blending out the concealer. And while that's being blended out, I do want to go ahead and apologize for my background. I know it's not perfect, guys, but it is just some fabric that I found at Walmart and it's working right now. <laughs> I know it looks ugly, but hey, I'll get there one day. Now using my Morphe E23 brush, I'm going in with the shade Classic to set the concealer. And now using the shade Whimsy from the same palette, I'm just going to set it on the on the crease, exactly on the crease, and I'm going to blend it out using windshield motions. And now I forgot to set the tape, but yes guys, we're going to need tape for this look. And that's just to create that sharp winged eyeshadow look. And now after I blend it out Whimsy, I'm going in with the shade Smoked, which is just like a brown eyeshadow. And I'm setting it on the crease. Just blending it out. You don't want to go above the crease. You want to really put it in the crease. Now using the shadow punk, you're going to set it on, the, on your eyelid. And now going in back with the shade smoked, that brown shade, you're just going to go in and blend the whole eyeshadow together. Now for the reveal. <laughs> Just kidding guys, it actually came out looking pretty good. Now I'm using my Smashbox Photo Finish Primer. I'm just setting it on my face. And I'm gonna go in with my Maybelline Master Camo Color Correcting Pen. And this is obviously in the shade green to cover up those red spots that may show through your foundation. And especially through my foundation, as you guys will see in a minute, because it is lightweight, it's not full coverage. And I'm trying to steer away from that full cakey face this summer. Now I'm just going in with my Hawaiian Cosmetic Eyelashes. And these are in Rosie. And we do have a promo code, guys, if you want to go check out their products. We do have a promo code in my description box. Now using my foundation from Revlon, 
Candid and Shade 400. We're just going in and we're just gonna blend it out. Don't forget the night, guys. Now for concealer, I'm going in with the Revlon Photo Ready. And I know I'm not using the Instagram technique, the Instagram triangle technique, but that's because I want a more natural looking face because I do have some bold eyes going on. And my foundation is not that cakey. It's very, very um, natural, as you guys will see in a few seconds. Now going in with my Laura Mercier translucent powder, I'm going to be setting my concealer, which would be under my eyes, on my forehead, and on my chin. I'm not going to be baking, rather I'm just going to be setting it and just blending it in. This works just as fine. Now taking my Morphe Y20 brush, I'm going to be going in with Whimsy on my lower lash line and blending it in with Edgy as well. And this is how it looks like. What is that doing there? Okay, there you go. <laughs> Finally, it was triggering my OCD. Now going in with the glittery, glittery eyeshadow, I'm just going to be applying it to my inner corners. Now taking my mascara from Maybelline called Pumped Up. I'm just applying it to my lower lash line. Now I'm just dusting off any excess powder. And I'm going to be going in with the um, Urban Decay Beach Bronzer. With my Morphe M527, I'm just applying it to my face just very lightly because I don't want a, a very dramatic face when I have bold eyes. Now to contour, I'll be taking my Morphe Y12 and my contouring kit ABH light to medium. And I do make a weird face while I'm contouring, so I just zoomed in for you guys and this is actually beneficial for you guys. And like I said, I don't want a dramatic um, face look, so that's why I'm just doing it very lightly. As you guys can see, you guys can barely see my contour. And now I'm just gonna clean it up using my Laura Mercier translucent powder just following the natural cheekbone line that I make when I suck in my my cheeks now I will be using my Becca highlighter in shade opal but first I want to go in with this cream that I am applying right now and it's called the shimmering skin perfector by Becca as well and it's in shade opal as well now what this is going to do it's going to create a wet highlight look and it's just going to make my highlight pop. Now going in with the Revlon lip gloss. I'm just going to be applying it. Honestly guys, just use anything that you guys have. Anything that works for you guys. Now going in with the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer Water. I set everything in with it. Now, just using my Maybelline Clear Mascara, I'm just setting my eyebrows, just so they don't move throughout the day. This is it, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it as much as I did. If you did, just give it a thumbs up, please, and we'll see you on the next video. Take care. Thank you.